Shaw maintains that it's not enough to just read something like a Nazarene tale. You're supposed to experience a Nazarene tale. Absolutely. Absolutely. What is he? And that's how it works. I mean, so, so maybe you'll, you'll get a chuckle or two in the beginning, or maybe you'll be mystified somewhat, but (laughs) you're going down life and it's like little cherry bombs in your, in your brain. And then you'll see a situation and and the, and the, the joke, the, the, the teaching function of the joke will hit you at different levels, right? But it hits you and it goes off. And then you realize, oh, I get it now, so on and so forth. It's, it's a wonderful way to live life because you never know when something hilarious is about to pop out and show you the true, the true nature of those uh, jokes for teaching. And so uh, I recommend it to everybody, but especially, especially, especially to students of the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, before it was a joke, and then I saw wisdom in it, and it was only the past like couple of weeks I've seen that I've recognized it in life and then wanted to recite it like a joke to somebody that applied, either apparently or not so apparently. Welcome to my world. Good luck with that. Good luck with two parts of it. One is trying to to say it as as elegantly and and as as, as succinctly as they have, mm-hmm. and also it's entertaining. And secondly, is uh, you know people. In psychiatry, we used to say, you know, you're not going to be very popular at a at a cocktail party if you point out that people's unconscious is splashing off the walls, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So have fun with that. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a true pleasure to have met the, uh, the Mullah's acquaintance. I've got to say that's a world treasure for everyone, right? Not just the Sufis, but especially those guys. And it's part of a like I've said before many times, a beautiful, comprehensive development program for the human being. I admire it. 